the planet is a big chunk of rock with regular shape and moves around a parent star just like our sun. They are cooler, does not undergo nuclear reactions, and are smaller than any stars out there. On the other hand, stars have higher temperatures, undergo nuclear reactions, and they are huge. In short, stars fuse hydrogen, and planets don't. So, can a star become a planet at any point of time? The answer is, yes. But, this transformation only happens for a very particular type of star, known as brown dwarf. A brown dwarf is a massive ball of hydrogen, helium, and trace amounts of metals. It has mass that is greater than the biggest planets and less than the smallest stars. Due to its insufficient mass, it doesn't have enough inward gravitational pressure to ignite the nuclear fusion of regular hydrogen and form a star. But, it does have enough mass to ignite the nuclear fusion of heavy hydrogen, also known as deuterium. Hydrogen is made up of one proton and one electron. Add one neutron to its nucleus and we have a deuterium. Early in the life of a brown dwarf, the nuclear fusion of deuterium releases large amounts of light, heat, and it glows like a regular star in a reddish-orange color. But, it quickly uses up its deuterium, goes dark, cools and spends the rest of its life as a planet. Thus, a brown dwarf starts its life as a star and spends the rest of its life looking and acting like a planet with a surface temperature of 750 to 2000 Kelvin. So, a brown dwarf, once a star, which fused deuterium, turned into a planet. Brown dwarfs are hard to detect with telescopes. It is estimated that there could be 25 billion brown dwarfs in our galaxy, but only 3,000 were detected using telescopes.